everybody, this is Tioni here with Hawaiian Keto Girl where I transform local Hawaii recipes and ketofy them so we make them keto friendly. Today I'm so excited about this video because I have my Nana here with me Hi. and my mom. Hi. Today we'll be making keto version of chicken long rice. So why don't we tell our viewers a little bit about what we're making. When we first learned it, it was like a lot of ginger, onion, and garlic. You know, you rolled it all up into a small, maybe a teaspoon oil or tablespoon, all depends how much chicken. Mm -hmm. But because we're not using the seasoning, we're using better quality, should I say, for health. Right, so, so we're doing a more keto version. Yeah. So the long rice, of course we're, we can't use long rice, right? So we're using um, tofu noodles or yam yeah. noodles. So yeah. it's really low in carbs. It's actually zero net carbs for the noodles. And then um, what we are gonna do to manipulate the recipes, we are going to watch how much ginger we put in because as we know, ginger is higher in carbs. So it's basically still the yeah. the framework of original yeah. yeah of the original chicken long rice. We're just kind of modifying it a little bit so that it's more low carb and keto friendly. This recipe today that we're doing is my papa's recipe. My papa Paul Tamsing who is married to my nana Janet Tamsing, and Papa made this for our family all the time. Yeah? All the time. For it was a tradition. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It's always. Here we do it with ginger. Yeah. yeah, and I remember we never had a holiday without Papa's chicken long rice. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yeah, and then Nana also said that um, Auntie Leanne ended up making it. She always does. Yeah. Mom learned, and then yeah. now it's my turn. So I'm the yeah. third generation. I'm I'm gonna I'm small kind different because we're gonna ketofy it, but <laughs> we're gonna keep this legacy going, right? For sure. The different so, styles. There's different styles of cooking chicken long rice. Some people put. Um, Show you some people put um, shintake mushrooms, mushrooms, bamboo. I even see choy um, some. Yeah, but Papa made his recipe just plain and simple and very very tasty. And his thing was always the ginger and the garlic, and you have to cook that first, and then with the then the chicken, and that's your flavor. Oh, so the chicken yeah. absorbs the yeah. um, garlic, garlic and ginger, ginger. flavor. Yeah. And what I used to like is when he would cook the, the ginger and the garlic, you knew when he was cooking chicken on rice because <laughs> you could smell the aroma of the ginger and the garlic it was really good. Yeah, so I was fortunate he taught me how to do it mm -hmm. and now she's learning. Yeah. yeah. Right on. Well, thank you, Nana, and thank you, Mom, for doing this video with me today. Nana, is there a certain size that we gotta cut the chicken? You know, some like to cut it square, but to me, square it doesn't, you know, it, it, I don't know. To me, if I cut it this way, the, the, right. it, it has all the taste for me. Oh, know, nice. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, Mom, what are you doing? I am going to crush the ginger, but how much, I mean, the garlic. How We're starting off with, with oil. One about one tablespoon. Yeah, go, go. Okay. Okay. And then and put then, in your ginger and garlic. Ginger and garlic mm -hmm. going in. Mm -hmm. Oops. Like any salt yet? Not no, no. Okay. So we're just gonna allow the chicken yeah. to cook down. I see all the pink salt already. Okay. And then there's water that comes out, so you wanna 
simmer it and let it kind of, um, you know, cook in uh, its yeah. own broth. Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna add your ingredients. Got it. Very simple and fast. Yeah. Super fast. Once the noodles are all done and ready to go, you'll want to boil at least 16 cups of water in a separate pot. Have that waiting on the side because you will add it to the recipe at a later time. Okay, you can see the, just like Nana said, the water from the chicken is starting to come out. This is good. Two scoops. Two? Yeah. Okay, so that's about two teaspoons yeah. of salt. You want, when you taste it, you, you want no more or less how much you want. Yeah. Okay. And then roll it around and then you can taste it. So I taste the broth. Yeah. 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 Let it dissolve first. It's gonna get the taste on here. Mm -hmm. You know, before they, everything is actually in a moto, yeah, but we yes. don't use it now, so. Okay, Nana, you taste it since you, this is your well, recipe. Perfect is it? year. Oh, yay! Okay, okay. Yay. <laughs> Nana's eyes, Nana's eyes said it all. Okay. Wow. All Isn't right. So easy and simple. Super. Yeah. This is a fast dinner and filling. <laughs> there you go, now you add your hot water. Okay. And you won't have the yucky thing come up. Okay, now boiled water. We're taking the boiled water and we're gonna add it to our chicken long rice. And Nana said to co cover it. Cover it to pour the water till okay. it covers the chicken. Okay. Okay, there we go. And now take your taste again. Alright. Stir this up. So we're gonna add salt and then taste, I guess. Yes. A pinch. Because you're adding that noodles and noodles is flat, so. Alright, so it's probably another yeah. teaspoon. Yeah. And when you put in the onion, it, it says I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nana, taste test again. Little bit. Little bit. One more. The first taste was good. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get that. We gotta get that taste again. Yeah. We gotta get the stars in Nana's eyes. Okay, <laughs> trying again. Here we go. So we go, why do you take two more? Two more time. One more time? Yeah. Okay. You got it. All right, you guys, you see, you gotta, you gotta keep tasting yeah. till you get that. So what taste are yeah, you looking over, for? But Just right. Yeah. Would you say that the, uh... all right, we're gonna do, this is Nana's third taste test. Let's yeah. see if we got the salt sure. level right. Yeah. 
So it shouldn't be too salty, gotta be just right. There you go. Perfect. For sure. Okay, now we're gonna dump this in. Yes. Just two cups. Yes. Two really? cups. Oh. All right, two cups of green onions going in. Okay. Ooh, Perfect. Nice. Good job, girl. <laughs> It looks like it. Yeah. It wasn't in vain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at that. Okay. Mm. Yeah. It tastes good. Can really taste the ginger. Chicken long rice, kilo style. <laughs> Okay, everybody has a bowl of their chicken long rice and we are going to give it a taste test. We have an extra little stash of Hawaiian salt just in case you need a little bit more. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go, ladies. Let's try this. I'm excited to see how this tofu noodles is gonna do oh, yeah. with this dish. I like it because for me, I can have more than what the salt taste. This is perfect. Oh, this is good. I can taste the garlic, the mm -hmm. ginger. Mm -hmm. I can taste the green onion too. Yeah, it's good. Alright. <laughs> oh, that's a perfect one. Uh, yummy. <laughs> So as this video is coming to an end, I want to thank my mom and my Nana for filming this video with me. We made so much memories and I had so much fun. I love you both. Please give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel if you're looking for more Hawaii-inspired keto recipes. As always, take care and aloha.